beautiful. He is munching on my snake hook right now. Finger right there. West African, yes. Yeah. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to this brand new YouTube video. So today we're gonna do a full venomous snake tour of my personal collection. But before we get to that, uh, I'm gonna head to the expo. I'm gonna pick up a brand new venomous snake. I'm not gonna show you guys what it is yet until the end of the video. I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little clip of the expo and we'll head right back to the snake room and show you my entire collection. What is going on everybody? We're back in the venomous snake room. Now here is my holding receptacle that I've made here. I do have a snake in here right now that is soaking because she was shedding. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her up and I'm gonna give you guys the full snake tour. But we're gonna start off with this guy or girl actually, this is my female. This is my female nausea so full wood. These guys love to swim. That's the crazy part. Not married, not many cobras like the water but the forest cobras they actually enjoy it very much so i'm gonna get her out try to do this one-handed with my hook because i'm holding the lid there we go you put this lid back on here put her right up here she's literally about to shed right now she looks very dull but this is an absolutely gorgeous forest cobra nausea sofulva these are the brown forest cobras. Now this snake <coughs> individual here, it is actually a very young one. This thing's only about two years old now and she is reaching six foot long. Super cool snake. I don't want to mess with her too much because she's literally in the middle of shedding. She just started shedding right before we started the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put her back up in the cage. Super cool snake. Look at that shed, it's coming right off. That water helps a lot. Gets them to, be able to get that shed off. Now she's being very territorial. Even him down there. Very territorial snakes. Go ahead and lock that. And then we're going to get down to this snake. So this snake down here is my Naja Naja Sri Lanka. These guys are, well Sri Lanka is the locale these guys, but it's the spectacle cobra. You can also get these guys from India, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan, I believe. The Pakistan ones are actually jet black. Super cool. Let me get a smaller hook for this dude. I'm actually gonna use this one. Crack that open. Pull this guy out. He is very defensive. He's very defensive in the cage and out the cage as well. Super dangerous snake right here. He is striking all over the place. Ooh. Once I got that tail, he's all mine. Nausea, nausea. Sri Lanka locality, spectacle cobra. Let's get him right up here. Look at that hood. The pattern of that hood is just beautiful. He's a very defensive snake. He's nothing to be messing around with. He's all business. That spectacle on the top of his hood. It's called a spectacle because it looks like spectacle glasses. Two big circles. Look at him, huffing and puffing. Very, very fast snake. You have to be very slow and gentle with these guys because they are all business. Very beautiful cobras. I'm gonna go ahead and put him up. Don't wanna piss him off too much because he is a serious snake. Beautiful hood. They have the biggest hood of all cobras. Super fast striking snake. Easily one of the fastest striking snakes that I have in my collection. Of cobra wise. He's just insane. Oh yeah, and again, it's not very good to be closing and opening these glass with my hands. It's always best to use your hooks. You can easily slide the glass or close it. I'll show you with another cage, but 
I do this because I'm used to it. I've been doing it forever, but it is not the safe way. I'm gonna show you guys the safe way. You take the hood, the end of the hook, this rubber part, place this on the side of the glass, easily open that. Safe and secure. You don't even have to touch to get near the snakes when you do that. Because when you open the glass with your hands, it completely just comes out easy. Monaco Cobra. She is absolutely beautiful. I love this snake. She is all business. Naja Kalthea. Freaking striking all over the place. Biting yourself. These guys are called monocles because they do have a circle on the back of their hood, which is the monocle. Now that's the reason why they're called monocle cobras. This is an albino morph. They have the red eyes. All the albinos have the red eyes. Beautiful snake. These guys are just very common in the hobby, but still very, very dangerous. So I'm gonna put her in the can for now, the holding receptacle, because I do have another cobra that's in that same cage. So this is my female albino monocle. She's gonna go back down. There you go. She's gonna go for a little quick swim. This is my female. I'm gonna show you the male now. I do have a male back in the same enclosure. Now this male, that is super loud, but this male here is super gorgeous, but he is no longer mine. He does not belong to me anymore. I have a good friend of mine that's been wanting this snake for a, a very long time. So I'm a, I went ahead and I hooked him up with it. We're just waiting for all the legal paperwork before he gets through so I can send this to him, but it's an absolutely gorgeous Cobra. He is all white, Monaco Cobra. This is my probably one of my chillest snakes in my collection. He's being very flighty, just put him on the ground. But he is super chill. Probably the chillest Cobra that you will ever see on the internet. He just doesn't care about anything. All white, Monaco Cobra. Now since this guy has a gene of blue, of blue cystic, he does not have the O on the back of his hood as you can see. There was a nice little hood. Beautiful Monaco Cobra. He's gorgeous. Absolutely love this guy. Let's put him back though. There's also fresh shit in there, but I'll get that later. Just want to get through these cages so I can show you guys the entire collection. Put this female back in there real quick. Let's make sure that she is not on top lid. That's the main reason why I have this plexiglass on top so I can see down below. So I can tell that she is in there. Very angry snake. She is super defensive. Always been very defensive. Pull her out. Get her right in the cage. Easy. Now again, we use the end of our snake hook. Grab the glass and close that up. Easy. Lock is secure. She's trying to bite me through the glass. And now we can get into our red spitter. Up here we have a red spitting cobra. Now I do I do have the lock. The cage is unlocked. The lock is somewhere up here. But he is back there. But before we open that, we're gonna need eye protection. So here's one for the camera guy because these guys do strike very far. Put this on. I'm gonna need this dinner hook actually. Blue one. Let's put the lid back on the camera. Now let me see if he is. He is in this back corner right here. Like the glass open. Let's see if I can get him to come on. Here we go. This is the Naja Polita, also known as a red spitting cobra. This is probably one of the few, or actually might be the only cobra that is red. I don't, I'm not sure there's another cobra out there that is red. I know there's some that are orange, very bright yellow, all kinds of color, but naturally occurring in the wild. These guys are actually red. Now there's some that are even more red, depending on the locality of Africa. These guys are located in Africa. 
They can get very big. I have seen some that are seven foot long with massive heads. These guys get huge. Nausea, Polito, Red Spitting Cobra. Now these guys are very dangerous. Now the reason I say they're very dangerous is because these guys are spitters. That spitter will stick on the glass and over time when you're inhaling that, it can give you allergies and your body can just react to it a lot different. So I don't like to have these things out for very much, for a very much long time because they're just super dangerous. So let's go ahead and put him up. I do have a female as well. The female is a lot smaller than this, but this is my male. The female is going to be the future breeder. I would love to breed this species. It's probably one of the, the main species that started everything for me. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back in the cage. He lets me. There we go. Cool looking cobra. He's a beast. I've had him for a long time now. He might spit on my hand for some reason, but see if we can get him in there. There we go. Secure. Lock. Safe and secure. Now we can go ahead and get down here. I'm gonna need a longer hook than this because this guy is super long and very defensive. So we can try this four foot long hook. Let me take these glasses off actually. So here we go. This is a Naja Savanula. I do have all my cages are labeled Naja Savanula which is a forest cobra or the West African yellow banded forest cobra. It's male, venomous. You have all your labels. You please do not touch. It's a picture of identification. These are all due by law. Now this snake that I'm about to show you guys is super dangerous due to his attitude. As you can see, he is actually getting ready to square up with me. Poke him so he can get back in that box. Now that he's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and reach in here and get this box. In there there's only one opening from here I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open this side open use my snake hook pull that a little bit back Let's see if I can crack this open there we go and there he is box over the place he is a crazy snake now you know exactly why these guys are very very dangerous because they are just super fast flighty snakes west african yellow banded forest cobra insane just staring down into the camera i'm gonna go ahead and put him up look at those beautiful tiger stripes on his face it looks super similar to mamba's Let's go ahead and put him up now. Get him right back in that enclosure. I'm gonna put his high box in there too. But get back in there. There you go. Lock and secured. Dang. He's trying to kill me through the glass. All right, next snake we're gonna show here is this rat snake. This is not a venomous snake, but I'm gonna go ahead and show him also. Is my leucistic Texas rat snake. Is it back here? Just hanging out. Leucistic Texas rat snake. Look at him. Hopefully, he doesn't bite me in the face. He is very bitey inside his enclosure. But as soon as I get him out, he chills out. This guy's actually very old already. I've had him for a couple years now. A little over five years, so he's been with me for a very long time. He's an old rat snake. So when I got him, he was already an adult, and he's a six foot long rat snake. He is huge, fully stretched out. This dude is huge, super big rat snake. But he's one of my favorites. I would always keep him in my collection. This is the only non venomous snake that I have in here, just the rat snake. Fix that hide box. Put him back in the enclosure. Close that up. See if it's secured. Next thing we're gonna get to is right down here. He's actually in here, but he isn't shed, but I'll still bring him out. I'll still bring him out so you guys can see him a little bit closer, but he is in blue. His eyes are very cloudy, which you just can't see, but he is a monster forest cobra. So I do have two of them. This is my male and this is my female up here. 
But I'm gonna show you th this one first because this guy is a monster. It's probably the biggest forest cobra that you will see on YouTube. So let's go ahead and bring him out. He is a massive forest cobra. Very defensive and super fast. See if he tolerates this today. Just handle him very gentle because he is a crazy snake sometimes. He is huge though. These guys are super fast snakes. Monster Forest Cobra. This guy is easily eight foot long because the enclosure I have back here is eight foot. He is in shed. I wish he wasn't in shed so you can see how jet black this snake is. But like I said, I have another one. The other one is a little bit smaller, but you will get to see her right now. This snake is beautiful. He is super thick. Easily the thickest snake that I have. This is a Naja Genesis. These guys are from Africa as well. Look at that. He is munching on my snake hook right now. Crazy Cobra. This is a Naja Genesis, the black forest cobra. He is completely jet black right now. He is in shed, so he's super dull. But these guys are in Africa. So what I was trying to say earlier is that this snake is the true, is the biggest true cobra species. A lot of people think the king cobras are a true cobra, but they're actually not. Those guys are belong in their own genus. But this snake. This is a nausea, part of the nausea family. So these guys get very big. This is the biggest true cobra there is out here. These guys can reach easily 10 foot long and they get super thick. This individual is actually only about eight foot long, but he can keep growing and easily reach 10 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him back because he is not shed. So I don't wanna mess with him too much. I can tell he's easily getting pissed off right now. And I don't blame him because I mean, he can't see out of those eyes. Just being very flighty right now. So let me go ahead and put him back in the cage. Secure. Now up here I do have the female. Now the female is very, very defensive. Super fast snake. I am going to pull her out. But this snake is small enough and fast enough that I'm not able to tell. So when I get her out, I'm just gonna try and get her on top of this can because she is not gonna stay still. She is a snake that goes all over the place. So I'm gonna try and get her up on this can. All right, we got the keys. Let's get this cage open. There you go. This is a super fast snake. Probably one of the fastest snakes that I have. Again, this is a Naja Genesis. It's a female version of this big guy right here. So this will be a future pair that I have. Let's get this open up. Get my snake hook. Here, back up a little bit. Let's see if she wants to come out. This is my female, Naja. Guinnesses. She is an absolute beast of a forest cobra. This thing is the definition of F around and find out. This snake will completely bite and not let go. Same species as the big one that I just showed you last. But the difference is the attitude on this snake is completely insane compared to the male. But she is such a beautiful snake because she is actually way more darker than my male. This snake is completely jet black and super glossy. I love this snake. Let's see if we can get it right up. Look at her. She is gorgeous. This is an African elapid. The longest true cobra species in the world. Such a beast of a snake. Absolutely love her. Very rare as well. I don't see too many people in the venomous hobby that has these snakes. I only know a couple guys, but from what I know, there might be less than 10 that I've ever seen confirmed. Beautiful snake. Gorgeous. Let's put her up before she takes me out because she is super fast and flighty. Put her up. 
Now this snake is the one that I'm always going to make sure she is always locked. You always want to make sure all my cages are locked. I come in here back to back throughout the entire day. I make sure all my cages are locked. So this wall is completely done. I already showed you guys everything on this side. So we're going to go ahead and get on the other side of the wall. But I do have this light box here. So let me just flip this over really fast. And we can get to this side of the wall. Now all my snakes on this side of the wall is a lot smaller than everything you've just seen on the other side. So buried down here we have my green mamba. Super duper, I don't wanna say super duper, but she's in shed right now. These guys grow super fast. That's the thing about elapids. They eat, they eat, they eat, and they grow and they grow, they grow, they just never stop. The vipers take a little bit longer, but the elapids, they just grow very fast. So let me get the keys and I'll pull him out real quick so I can show you guys. It's open. Let me get my other hook. Now this green mamba is a very chill individual that I have, but again, let's not forget, he is in shed. When snakes are in shed, they get a little bit more freaked out because they can't see since their eyes are, you know, blue. But this snake right here is usually a very calm mamba. Very, very chill mamba that I have even in shed. That shed is starting to come off right now. I can feel it right there. You can actually see the shed skin coming off right there on the body, but super, super cool mamba. I wish he was in a shed so you can see the true colors of them. That green is super, super vibrant and very bright. But right now he's a little bit shady looking. He looks very dull, but I absolutely love this snake. I hope that one day I can get another one so I can get them in there together. It would be awesome to have two mambas in the same cage. These guys are just badass. They're very arboreal. Arboreal means that these guys are usually always on the trees, on the branches. They rarely come down. That's why I love these snakes. They're just the best display animals to have. Green mamba. One of my favorite venomous snakes in the community. Easily one of the most dangerous, <clears throat> but attitude wise, this guy is probably the chillest one that I own. But I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. I don't want to mess with him too much because he is in shed again. So let's put him back in here. Let him go back in there and do his thing. Kind of messed up his little housing, but it's all good. Fix that later today. Make sure this cage is locked and secured. Here I do have another small monocled cobra. Let's see if I can get the right key up here. You can see all my cages are labeled right underneath here so go ahead and poke him out a little bit there he is super cool you know what i'm not even going to get him out just because he's in a cool little posture same thing this is my male i do have the female that i showed you guys earlier the female name is karen this is my albino They're both albinos you can tell by the red eyes that they have very very bright coloration that orange is just absolutely gorgeous He's a beast of a little cobra. He's only about two years old. He still has a lot of growing to do. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close this up. Not mess with him too much, because I did show y'all that female, which is the exact same morph, but size difference. This guy's a lot smaller. According to me, he's still a little baby. He's two years old, but he looks like a little baby. He's a cute little cobra. Up here, I have another baby cobra. This is a Naja annulifera or also known as the banded snouty cobra. These guys are from Africa. They get very large as adults. Right now, this little one's only about two or three months old. Very, very small individual. As you can see his open mouth. He's just a super cute cobra. These guys are from Africa. They get absolutely massive. These guys can reach easily about eight foot long. Let's see if I can get them out though. go get him right out baby banded snouted cobra super cute little snake check out those bright orange little bands throughout the entire body no i do have two of these guys my other one is in this cage behind me but this is my female the female is growing a little bit faster i'm gonna put her up the female is growing a little bit faster than the male is the male is growing a little bit slower the females do get bigger, I believe. It could be wrong, but I think the females do get bigger. Like I said, these guys can reach easily eight foot long. Get this lock in here really fast. There we 
go. Now over here, I have the male. It's the same exact species. Menage a first, now the Cobra 1.0 means that I have one male. Another one says 0.1. Picture identification, he is right up here. You can see him. They look identical, so I'm not even gonna pull him out, but this is my male right here. I think he's hungry because he's chasing my finger. Let's get to these guys. Now, these are everybody's favorite snakes, the blue Insularis pit vipers. These guys are Trimasurus Insularis. You can find them in Indonesia, Komodo Island, basically anywhere throughout Indonesia. They come in three different colors, which is yellow, blue, and green. Super cool looking snakes because these guys are natural occurring in the wild that are blue this is a blue snake you don't see blue snakes like this this is a blue insularis pit viper i love this snake this one has the red eyes some of them have the silver eyes this one has like a green bottom underneath the bellies like greenish the other female this is my male the female has like a silver bottom like a whitish bottom but this one has a stripes on top as well a little tiger stripes blue and solaris pit viper now these guys are hemotoxic the cobras and the lapids are neurotoxic you get bit by a neurotoxic snake which is your elapids which is your mambas your cobras your, your taipans or all your lapids right if you get tagged by a neurotoxic venom snake it will basically attack your heart your brain you will bleed from the inside and basically you can get paralyzed quickly die etc etc right i'm not gonna go too deep into it but the hemotoxic let's say i get tagged in the finger by this snake He's looking at me right now. Like if I get closer to this guy by my hand, he will definitely tag me, no issue. They're very bitey snakes. Now this snake, since it's hemotoxic, the area you get tag on will basically rot the flesh off and you will lose your entire hand or whatever area you got bit by. So they're not as dangerous as a cobra or any lapid, but they are still very, very, very dangerous snakes to play with. But they are gorgeous, a blue viper super sick i'm gonna put him back in here get him back in there so you can go back and relax with the female his little girlfriend she's up on the branches this one up here is my precious baby king cobra let's see if i can get this open a good friend of mine gave me this snake about almost a year ago. It's not a year yet, so this snake still has about three more months before it's a year old. This is a hybrid King Cobra. It's a Malaysian and Indonesian, I believe. Could be wrong, but I think that's what it was, if I remember. But let me pull her out, or her, actually. This is my female. Baby King Cobra. Let me get her out real quick. So you can see her up and close. Now, this snake has been eating healthy for me and is doing a very great job of growing. The coloration has changed on her already. When she was a newborn, she was almost completely black with a couple bands. Now her head pattern is completely different. Her whole body is completely different. She is just looking gorgeous. I am in love with this snake. The hard work and dedication behind keeping these guys is insane. It takes me many hours, or in the beginning a stage when I've just got her, when she was just a baby, it would take me so many hours of just getting her to eat, making sure she's nice and healthy. Now she's doing great. She's eating well every single week. I feed her every six to seven days. She eats very well. This is a baby King Cobra Malaysian Indonesian hybrid. The Latin name for the snake is Ophiophagus hanna, which is translated into a snake eater in Latin because like I said they eat other snakes in the wild naturally I'll go ahead and put her back up right now look at her she's concentrating on my hand right now beautiful little king cobra I'm gonna put her back up I don't like messing around with her too much because like I said these little snakes are very very delicate species but I love her cute little cobra let's put her back this is a red spitting cobra, Nausea pallida, same species that I pulled out at the very beginning of the video. But this particular one is my female, and this is a baby. So I'm not really gonna mess with her too much. It's a baby red spitting cobra. The red hasn't even came in yet. 
still very very brownish and dualish but as she gets older she will get more and more red go ahead and just put her back just want to show you guys really quick and let's pull out the other baby cobra that i have which is this one over here this is a nausea siamensis i made an entire video separate video that i made with this snake that i had uploaded my last video was when i picked this guy up so if you haven't checked that video, make sure you go and check that out. And here he is. It's a Nausea Siamensis, baby spitting cobra. Let's go ahead and pull him out. He is a pretty chill individual, but he is a spitter. So hopefully he doesn't spit at the camera. But it's an Indonesian black and white spitting cobra. He might spit at my face. Hopefully he doesn't. But he is absolutely cool. Just like the Naja Naja, these guys have a giant hood as well. This guy is just a baby though, but as they get bigger, you see? As they get bigger, that hood would increase and just look massive. These snakes are super badass. They come in so many different colorations. These guys are striped. They come in striped variations. They come in all white, all black. Uh, they are checkered, dotted. They come in so many different combinations. It's just crazy. Very common snake in the hobby. Let's go ahead and put him back up. Let's show you guys the brand new snake that I picked up earlier this morning. We're not gonna need these anymore, so I'm gonna take these off because they're just getting away. They're super annoying. Now this is a Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. He is very loud. These guys are found in Florida. It's a native snake. You find these guys throughout Florida. Very very defensive snake. This is the largest rattlesnake in the world, the Eastern Diamondback. I'm not gonna mess with them too much because they're very dangerous. They strike it super far. Leave him back in there. The strike range on these guys is insanely far. In the future, well not in the future, in a couple weeks from now, I'm gonna build a huge enclosure on this side. Same enclosure that I got on that side of the wall, which is your eight foot on that side of the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and build the same one on this side of the wall so he can be in there and hopefully in the future i can get another one so i can have two giant rattlesnakes in one enclosure and the last couple animals i'm going to show you today is three scorpions and a turtle we'll start off with a turtle here i have baby albino turtle it's a cute little turtle he's an albino red-eared slider to be specific super cool little turtle let's put them back up show you guys these little scorpions here i have a baby amber scorpion let's see if i can get him on top of the bark baby amber scorpion this is the largest scorpion species, I believe. I could be wrong, I'm not a scorpion expert, but these guys get huge. I do know that for sure. These guys get massive. Now up here we have my Arizona desert hairy scorpion. He is in here just hanging out. He has a golden coloration. I don't know if you can see that. He is a beast of a little scorpion, but he is a little stinger. So I don't like to mess with him too much because he will sting me out of nowhere. Let's put him down here. If we can. Check that out. This is an Asian forest scorpion. He's huge. This is a huge scorpion right here. Look at that stinger. That little stinger right there. 